everybody, welcome back to Art Unbox. Hi, welcome back. Uh, I'm Carla and this is Lola and today we're going to be making some really easy accessible foods and we're going to be jazzing some things up. Um, so this is something that Lola receives in her school lunch distribution, which is free to us. They're grilled cheeses and they're frozen grilled cheeses, which is really convenient and they're fine on their own but we decided to add some things to them to pump them up a little bit and add some protein and like some more flavor and stuff. And then what's a grilled cheese without a really, really good tomato soup? So we're gonna make corner store tomato soup with two different kinds of grilled cheeses that we're gonna jazz up. Lola's gonna get started with getting her grilled cheese ready and she's gonna use her little hands to pull off some chicken from a rotisserie chicken that we had. This is just something that I happen to have in the fridge. They are so affordable, rotisserie chickens. They're $4.99 at ShopRite and Walmart. Um, our co-chef Sarah has a later episode coming with more things to do with rotisserie chicken, but we're gonna do um, some for our grilled cheese. So we will uh, get started with that. All right, let me show you how it's done. Welcome. Hi everybody. Today I'm gonna peel some chicken off, some roasted chicken, and then I'm gonna put it on a hot grilled cheese. And and with apples. And I'm gonna start peeling. All right, the part that she's using is the chicken thigh, but it really doesn't matter which um, piece you're using. Just make sure it's in to like shreddy pieces. So shred that up, honey, and put it in the bowl. Okay? Yes, Mama. This is just a good way to add some protein to a grilled cheese that you already have hanging out in the freezer and to make it more of a full meal than just um, a grilled cheese. I personally am going to make a tuna melt. So I've opened my can of tuna over here. Uh, but what, we're, what I'm gonna focus on right now um, is actually our tomato soup while Lola finishes getting her chicken ready. Okay, so Lola's finished pulling her chicken. My tuna is open and drained. Um, and so we're gonna get started on our tomato soup because that will take a little bit more time than the grilled cheeses will. Uh, right here, I have a can of whole peeled tomatoes and you can get these pretty much at any corner store, definitely ShopRite, sometimes like Dollar General. I also have a can of crushed tomatoes Normally I would use all whole peeled tomatoes, but I didn't have it. So I'm just gonna use one of each and that's totally fine. The fun part about this is that Lola is going to crush up these whole peeled tomatoes with her hands because I do like a chunky tomato soup. So we'll leave it chunky. If you don't like a chunky tomato soup, don't use whole peeled tomatoes or use them and then blend them up whether it's with a blender um whoops a blender or a stick blender or like a big whisk so i'm going to pour these in to this here oh and lola with your clean hands that are away from your mouth you're going to reach in there and squish them and they might like burst a little bit but that's okay all right, you gonna get in there? Yes. Okay, go ahead and do it. Squeeze them, oh yeah, and they pop, right? Yeah. That's cool. So, those large cans of tomatoes are a really good investment whenever your store does something like a can-can sale or like a 10 for one. Get a couple of those, keep them on hand. They're so versatile. You can make tomato sauce, pizza sauce, tomato soup, pasta anything and also this is like a really funny thing for uh kids to do oh yeah doing good <laughs> did it splash <laughs> no so um we're gonna keep these pretty rustic pretty chunky by just doing it with hands we don't need anything fancy and then we're gonna get our tomato soup started so to do that i have this big pot here as large as you have and i'm gonna start heating that over like a medium heat and add in some vegetable oil like we always talk about it's just like neutral boring old canola oil or vegetable oil which I always get at my Dollar General for like a dollar twenty-five something like that so 
after Lola finishes with the tomatoes, we're gonna dice some onion, I've got a little celery going on, and then we're gonna add, add all of our tomatoes and let that simmer when we move on to the grilled cheese. All right, cool. You good? Okay, so we're gonna move on to starting our tomato soup because that'll take a little bit longer than our grilled cheeses. Um, I call this sort of corner store tomato soup because we're not actually using fresh tomatoes, but something that you might be able to find at your nearest um, convenience store or something like that. Lately, there's been an initiative for having fresh produce in corner stores, and the most common of those are onions, apples, and potatoes which are also the most common ingredients that you would find in a CSA box any time of the year. And again, we've talked about this before, it's because they are sturdy, they hold up well, they don't bruise easily, and they last a really long time. They have a good shelf life. So the fresh ingredients that we're gonna use uh, for this soup will be some diced onion, uh, a little bit of celery, only because I'm using celery in my tuna too. If you don't have the celery, if you don't wanna use the celery, then just don't, it's totally fine. Um, and, and then we're just gonna do the canned tomatoes. So since I'm using onion in two places, we're just gonna get it both done at the same time. Um, I don't need to revisit onions after I've cut them once. So as you can see, I cut across this way, and now I'm going down, and then we're gonna go back and go across this way, and it'll give you a perfect little dice. So we'll get through that, and this can go right into my soup pot, which is on like a medium low heat with that neutral oil. And then I'll show you how to handle the celery. Okay, all of our onion is done and we're just gonna move on to our one stalk of celery. Um, I'm using this because I really like celery in my tuna salad and in my tuna melt. I've set aside about this much onion for my tuna. The rest is uh, simmering away in my pot. So a fun thing about celery is that if you wanna get an even dice, you sort of roll it on its side. You don't cut it down the middle. You roll it on its side and you cut it into a couple different equal strips. And now it won't have that like curved celery look, which is fine if you like that. It'll just be um, able to be more of a dice. So I'm gonna use probably this much, these two small pieces from the top for my tuna. So we'll just do that, running our knife along, going with the blade and rocking the blade, not chopping down too hard. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be even. And maybe I'll do a little bit more, but the rest of it, we're just gonna put into this tomato soup because um, celery just adds like an awesome level of flavor. Uh, so the rest of the ingredients that we're gonna add right after this will be our herbs and spices and the recipe that comes along with this does call for like one tablespoon of basil and one tablespoon of oregano, but I didn't have those separate today. I had some Italian seasoning. So I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, which is another common thing that you can get for maybe, you know, a dollar at um, one of these local small stores. So that's another like an investment that you get a whole big jar for a dollar, dollar fifty, something like that and then it'll last you for a while. We're gonna add those herbs and spices in now because they will meld with the onions and the celery and the oil and they'll start them, so they'll rehydrate and start to bloom. So right here, I have that Italian seasoning right in there. And then I have garlic powder and onion powder. If you have fresh garlic, use fresh garlic. If you don't, then just use some, some powder. And I'm gonna just roughly shake it in equaling to about, um, I don't know, half a, half a tablespoon, which is like equal to two teaspoons. So we're gonna stir that in. Before we add anything else, we're gonna let those flavors come together. We're gonna let them work into that oil and really flavor the oil. All right, and then we will move on and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now that our onions and our celery have become translucent, which means they're sort of see-through, they're not fried or anything like that, but they're just sort of soft and fragrant. The herbs have bloomed and the dried spices have bloomed and they're so fragrant. Lola, can you smell that? Yeah, it smells really good, right? Yeah. So what do you think comes next? 
um, the tomato sauce. That's right. So we have one of the cans of crushed tomatoes. Go ahead and pour that in. Okay. This one? The, well, those are the plum tomatoes, but that's okay. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. They're all going to come together. So carefully do that. Go ahead. Keep going. All of it. All of it. You got it. Right? Okay. Good job. And you can set that aside. And then do the same thing with the can, okay? Great. Okay, cool. That might splatter a little bit, so just be careful. Keep this on a medium high heat and we're gonna let this rock and simmer for, um, I don't know, 30 minutes or so for the flavors to come together. That's fine though. Give it a big stir if you could, please. And we're just gonna let this go and come together uh, for the flavors to blend and everything and for it all to cook down. The only other thing that we're gonna add to this, which is straight up from the corner store again, is a cup of milk or cream. Um, if you wanna keep this dairy free, you can leave it out and maybe do vegetable stock or just water, uh, cause this is gonna cook down a little bit, but the milk will add some richness, which will be really nice. So let's move on to assembling our grilled cheeses. All right, Lil, what do you think? Yeah, that, that's so bubbly. It is very bubbly. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So that means a lot is going on. As you can see, there's steam happening, which means um, some of the water is evaporating and it's really concentrating the tomato flavor. But we want to make this like a nice big pot of soup. So we are going to add um, some water and we're just using the same can that the tomatoes came out of, filled it with water right from the sink, and Lola's going to pour it in. Okay, go ahead. Don't pour it from high, pour it from low so it doesn't splash too much, okay? All right, there you go. Okay, good. Just some like room temperature water, not hot or cold or anything like that. We'll stir it around. And the reason we're making soup this way with these canned ingredients instead of buying like one small can of soup is because we're gonna end up with I don't know, maybe six to eight servings of soup, which has a rich and deep flavor, less sodium. You can control your flavors. You can make it spicy. You can make it cheesy, whatever you want to do. And it's going to serve a lot more than one can of just store-bought soup. So we'll let this come back up to a simmer and then we're going to let it go for probably like 15 minutes or so so it can really develop the flavors and then at the end we'll add the milk for that richness all right see you soon okay everybody we're back and we're going to start assembling our sandwiches all right lola what kind are you having again i'm having apple and extra cheese and chicken and all chicken. right so we have our foil line sheet here we're going to spray it with a little cooking spray just so it makes sure that our bread toasts up on the outside, all right? And then we each have a piece that has cheese on it, cheese on both sides of the bread. And like Lola gave away, we are gonna do a little bit of extra cheese just because I have it in the fridge. I have deli slices of cheese um, and we just wanna, cause why not, right? All right, so which one do you want? This one, this one, this one, this one? This, you want this side? All right, so grab your chicken and you're gonna do, stand up. You're gonna do chicken on one half of the bread, okay? Get the chicken and put it on the bread. All right, so load it up with chicken and we're using this again. That's not enough chicken, <laughs> keep going. Oh, also taste the chicken as you go, of course. Then we're using this chicken just because we had it in the fridge left over from a rotisserie chicken. It's adding protein to this grilled cheese that has come frozen in her lunch kits. Um, okay, can you put some more on to the actual grilled cheese, please? Awesome. You know, rotisserie chicken's great. So it tastes really good. It's already seasoned really well. Um, and so it adds just a lot. And we don't want just a plain old grilled cheese with a little bit of protein from the cheese, we want some from the meat as well. So then can you lay your sliced apples out on the, probably on the other piece of toast. So we slice these thin. Lola did a good job. I had to help her a little bit, but we want an even layer of apples for there. So you get a little bit of apple in every bite. And it might seem odd, but chicken and apples and cheddar are actually really, really complimentary. So 
and we're going to put one piece of cheese on top of the chicken and one on top of the apples and you can pull it apart if you'd like just like Lola is doing and that's totally fine. We're going to bake these in the oven rather than in a skillet just because it's so much easier. The cheese will get nice and bubbly, the bread will get toasty, and everything will heat through. All right, so you can go hang out while I do mine. So I'm essentially doing the same thing, except for I'm gonna serve mine open-faced, which means I'm gonna do a little bit of my tuna on each half and then top it with cheese, and we're not gonna close it up. We're gonna close up Lola's and then cut it, but mine we're just gonna keep open. And normally there would be a slice of tomato right underneath this tuna and I'm sadly missing it but that's okay that's totally fine so there we go with that and again another piece of cheese on each and I'm gonna sneak some more cheese on Lola's because she didn't really distribute it that great these are gonna go right into the oven for probably like eight minutes or so um, and while that is going on do that right now. Eight minutes. While that's happening, we're gonna add our last ingredient to our tomato soup, which is um, a cup of milk, which we've let sit out so it comes to room temperature because we don't want the cold milk to curdle in hot tomato soup. Um, we're gonna pour that in and then turn it down to a low simmer, which means there's just like bubbles like this, like little bubbles. All right, and then I'll, by the time that the grilled cheeses come out, the tomato soup will have all blended and come together and it's gonna taste awesome. Make sure that you taste and adjust the seasonings to your liking, adding more salt, pepper, maybe red pepper flakes if you like, more garlic, salt, whatever. Um, so let's go in with the milk. There we go, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we're back. We're gonna pull out our tray of grilled cheeses. Will it please be mindful? Yes. Okay. Good. Good call. All right. So look at that. Everything is nice and melty. Put that right down on our cutting board. And Lola's going to be careful, right? Right? Our soup has come together. Still just simmering at a low heat. And we're going to just very carefully fold these grilled cheeses over. And as you can see, the outside is perfect. Does that look perfect? Do you want to look at it? A little closer and tell me how perfect it looks. It looks very perfect. It looks very perfect. Okay. All right. So we'll just take these out and put them onto our cutting board. Mine, like I said, I'm doing a tuna melt, so we're going to go open face. So I'm really just going to take this out carefully using a spatula and not my hands and put this onto a plate. We will put this out of the way. Okay. Turn off our oven. How would you like yours cut, Lola? In half, in triangles, and sticks? Just right in half. Okay. All right, I can do that. Right in half. Thank you for stepping back with a knife. Oh, yeah. So the apples, they've gotten warmed through, but they're still like nice and crunchy, and they add a freshness and a crunch to the grilled cheese. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so now our grilled cheeses are ready to go, and we're gonna dish out some tomato soup, which has gone for about 30 minutes now. All right, well, mm -hmm. I think. All right, I'm gonna put yours right on your plate. Be careful of that, it's very, very hot. You could dip your grilled cheese in, or, you know, just have it like on the side at the same time as your sandwich. This um, soup is awesome. You could top it with some more uh, shredded cheese or maybe some sour cream, just because I'm a really big sour cream fan, right? So are we gonna go ahead and try it? What do you wanna try first, grilled cheese or soup? I wanna try grilled cheese. Okay, so go ahead. I'll try my, my, my tuna milk grilled cheese, okay? Yep, fine with me. Hmm. Mm. That's super good. Mm. I love mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cheese is all melty. And we added that extra cheese and then the bread like toasted up perfectly. Do you like the chicken and apple combo? I can barely taste the chicken. Really? Because you're not taking big bites. You're just nipping at your apple there. So hold it, hold it and take a big, like a big grilled cheese bite. Oh, perfect. 
Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. I'm gonna, do you mind if I? <laughs> oh, it's super good. That's awesome. So today we made something using something that we get for free, which is her grilled cheese sandwiches from her school lunches. We amped it up adding protein, um, another fruit, and then we killed the vegetables using some canned tomato products. This whole dish probably cost us, I don't know, less than $10 to make all of this. We probably have two more quarts of soup left, which would be great in the freezer, great to give away, great for lunch tomorrow, whatever. This dish is hearty and filling and tasty, wouldn't you say? Yes. I think so, and I think it was pretty easy too. You going for soup now? No. Yeah, try it. Blow on it. Oh, that's nice. And that has a lot more flavor than buying just a can of like condensed soup, right? And we can get so much more out of it. it. Tastes really good, right? You look like it doesn't, but I think I know you and she actually means that it does. So anyway, we're going to leave you tonight to enjoy your grilled cheese and tomato soup. Um, please, one second, email us um, your thoughts and your pictures of this recipe. Our haiku inspiration for today is going to be toast or toasted cheese sandwiches or toasted sandwiches or something like that. It's one of my favorite things in the whole world. So please email us at um, artunboxed.nvha at gmail.com. And I think Lola has something to say. Whoever you are, black or white, you guys are the best. Thank you for being our followers, followers women or men. Right. We're all about equality, right? Um, so always, please enjoy this recipe and eat your art.